I mean, I don't think that we are marginalized or、uh, part of fad and fashion. I think this is actually the rising modality necessary for the future if we're going to make it through. In other words, I suspect that 10 years from now, 15 years from now, the things we are talking about today. Will be the general metaphors and concerns in society, because I'm, I just have a very strong intuition, based on you know、uh, a lot of journeying into those hyperspatial modalities, that、uh, this is the path, and I'm sufficiently convinced of that to submit it to a kind of intellectual plebiscite. I mean, I believe that ideas compete with each other the way animals compete in an environment, and that the best ideas, the most fitting ideas for the human adventure, will will、uh, eliminate their competition, and that's what we're experiencing now in in the political domain: is a competition between.、Uh, Ideological systems roughly comparable to dinosaurs and mammals, and you know you can decide which is which, but the two are incommensurate, and and one is in the act of eliminating the other, and so it's a matter of、uh, observing this process, understanding it, and being comfortable with it. If you're right, I don't think you need to feel any urgency. Because、uh, that will quite naturally percolate out、uh, in the mix. Many of you have heard me quote William Blake. It's always worth repeating. He said, "If the truth can be told so as to be understood, it will be believed." In other words, understanding compels belief. You don't have to hammer on somebody. Your task is to refine your message into an understandable form, and then let the dynamics of intellectual competition decide、uh, what is the best model to to follow.